All right. I just saw in my comments that uh, somebody was asking about an update on the Dominic Williams case. I'm glad y'all do that because I will tend to forget that the court date is getting closer. Um, the I'm going to show you a few of the documents or whatever that I was able to pull out for the confused people that are in the comments that are saying things like they need to release him. He's innocent. Uh, that Jasmine said, never said that he raped her or whatever. L let me put your mind at ease so you don't burn out a fuse. This is his case right here. State of Georgia versus Dominique Williams. Judge Emily Richardson. Capital sex crimes with an S at the end, okay? This is your boy. Y'all want to be taken up for so much. Dominique Williams and his attorneys. His charge is uh, with an S. Williams, Dominique. Description, statute, level, and a date. The first one is straight rape. 16-6-1 felony on September the 1st, 2018. The second one, aggravated sexual battery. 16.6-22.2 uh, felony. Uh, January 19th, 2019. These are two different victims of two different years. So whether or not she, Jasmine said the word rape or not, which actually she went to the hospital and got a rape kit done on her and they said that she was sexually assaulted. She was sodomized, which is the aggravated sexual battery which carries the same punishment as rape, just so everybody knows. Georgia, don't be messing with the booty over there. Just so y'all know. First time offense of sodomy can get you life. Okay? I don't know why people take up a rapist. I really don't. I get it. There's some people out there that, that claim false crap, and I know she got blamed for a lot of shit, saying that she was lying. But y'all gonna say the other lady's lying too? Anyway, we're going to jump all the way down to where we're at now. Y'all stay tuned to the end. I got something for you. I'm sorry. It's just a little bit too close to home when it comes to crimes of sexual deviance and whatnot. All right. June the 11th, uh, somebody got a leave of absence. I don't know. And they also filed a motion to petition for a bond. Because, you know, he has not even been given a bond still. And then on the same day, oh, Dominic signed a waiver that he didn't even want to show up for the bond hearing. He wants to stay in his bunk. On June 24th, he sent in a motion for substitute of counsel. Notice of substitution on the 25th. The judge actually finally granted him a bond. June 25th. Now, here's his bond. It's right here. They granted him a bond for aggravated sexual battery and rape. I'll say it again. But if that was your daughter, your sister, your mother, your wife, your mama, it says order for bond, the appointment matter come before the court for a regular scheduled bond hearing and is hereby 
ordered that bond be set as follows 100,000 straight, 20,000 PTRL ISP. I don't even know what that means. Total 120,000. That was still lower than my bond. Dang. Anyway. It says his restrictions. It says you will be notified of your next court date by mail. If you change your address, it is your responsibility to tell us immediately. Tell you to appear will result result in a warrant. That the defendant have no contact directly or indirectly with the victims. See, that's where y'all mess up. Y'all just don't know. By mail, email, nothing, 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 nothing. Stay with the 200 yards away. And his curfew is from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. And he's got to get some work. Now, he's not going to have to worry about that. Of course, on the 21st. Anyway, then his motion for substitute of counsel. There you go. I'm not going to read it. It says, it is basically, please substitute Marsha as co-counsel for Dominique. The substitution is solely for the replacement of former co-counsel Derek. And la di da I ain't gonna lie, I hope he fries. I hope he gets slapped hard. Because this ain't his first time. Anyway, okay, order the bond. Here's your bond. Okay, July 21st, 2020, final plea and trial. Hearings at 9.30. So the, 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 that date, I think, is the same as the last time when we did the, the update on it. But um, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. People in my family has been on both ends of that, that this case like this, where they've been falsely accused and when they've actually been the victim. Trust and believe. Even the family member that was falsely accused said they would rather go sit in jail and be falsely accused than to have somebody not believe a victim when they say something happened. And I didn't understand that then, but I do now. So anyway, that's where we're at with that. I'll be back with some Kanika stuff, hopefully tonight. Been doing some serious stuff. All right, y'all hold on there. For the dummies that think it's all good, where in here are you seeing consent? She looks past the fuck out to me. This is where he's gonna spit in her hand, in his own hand, and puts it on his pecker when he tries to rape her on the dance floor. When he's attempting to put it in her, she starts waking back up, yelling, "No!" I can't put the video up. YouTube done took it down after I had it up for a year. There's no consent there. She's knocked out. He's six foot four according to his criminal record. She's five foot two. He's carrying her off to that storage room, the little room off to the side, whatever it is, out uh, off from the dance floor, whatever. It's all dark in there to proceed to rape her by way of sodomy. These two guys hear her screaming. They come over and they lean over the half wall. He has her bent over right here with face down with uh, on, on the table or something. And her, her, her cell phone is still streaming live stream. And there's a glimpse of it where it picks up these guys and they're yelling at him. They're the ones that saved her. But if you still want to believe because the way she was dressed, the way she lived her life, whatever, that she's a fake, a fraud, or whatever. And that face right there doesn't tell you that she's screaming for help. What about this one? 
And she's the one that put the rape charges on him from the year before. What you gonna say about her? Oh, she's white. She's what? What? I mean, what? I can't stand people that that take up for rapist. He's he said, or his attorney said the same thing. The mother of the guy that raped my family members. He's a good guy. He graduated from school. He's got kids. He's a good dad. Has nothing to do with nothing. Trust and believe that. He's a rapist, first and foremost.